Jesus you know Christ. what they're doing afterwards? They do takeouts, so you have to make them funny if you fail. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Flubbers. Flubbers. <laughs> Hello Elvenar fans, my name is Thiago and today I'm here with Timon. Hey. And today we want to present you the brand new feature we just launched on Elvenar, the Cauldron. Yeah, and as you just said, it's already live, so click on the link in the description below and try it out on beta. So Timon, tell me, what is the Cauldron? So the Cauldron is a new feature inside the Magic Academy and it's basically Brew your own boosts. Wow, that's cool. How does it work? So, you know, in the Magic Academy, the sorceress is living, right? And she goes for a walk once a week uh, into the woods and she comes back with ingredients she finds in the forest. And with these ingredients, you can um, brew a potion that triggers effects that are similar to ancient wonder effects in your city. And of course, it's kind of time uh, limited and you can do this once a week. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me I can brew potions. What kind of effects can I get from these potions? So we have different kinds of effects. Some of them um, are more catering towards negotiators who need a lot of goods and some others are more for fighters. So you can do basic things like increasing your coins income or your supplies income, but you can also increase your goods production you can increase the strength of units and um, also the health of units so you can unlock over time all kinds of effects that uh, will help you to support your personal playstyle. So is there any way I can make these potions stronger or less longer? How can I know uh, what sort of bonus I get from it and how to influence it? Mm -hmm. So you do unlock these effects one by one by completing chapters in the research tree and then this effect at the beginning is fairly weak, so don't be surprised, but there are several ways to boost them. So you can either improve your potion by adding spell fragments to it and uh, make a very strong effect out of a weak effect. And secondly, after you brew, you enter a new phase of the cauldron. For the rest of the week, basically, the sorceress can study her skills to brew potions. And there you can level up the effects you like. And this is something you can do over weeks and months and the longer you've been to the game, the more, the more powerful effects you will be able to trigger with the cauldron. So uh, can I only have one effect activated at a time or can I activate more than one? The cauldron can trigger a lot of different effects depending on which ingredients you throw into it and you want to maximize the probability to get the effect you want the most, right? So actually you drink this potion from goblets that you win at the tournament. And if you get enough tournament points, you can drink up to five times. Wow. So the answer is you can have up to five different effects every week. How many uh, ingredients do, I have no do we have now available? And are they always available? So we have 12 ingredients in total. And every ingredient has some relationship to every single effect, so you can really like play trial and error in the brewing phase um, to find out which combination of ingredient will lead to the highest probability of my favorite effect. And I can just recommend you to try it out now on the beta, play the cauldron, try it out if you can find the maximum probability for your favorite effects. Um, and yeah, to restrict it a bit more, to make it more um, like of a um, challenge every week, we never Give you access to all ingredients so there are 12 but only eight of them will be available per week mm. and which ones are totally randomly chosen and if you really really can't live without a certain ingredient because it's not available this week we made them available for premium yeah, for for diamonds but a reasonable amount i would say no that sounds incredible i really am anxious to see how actually all these combinations work and what sort of effects i can get out of it yeah, we expect actually a lot of discussion in the forums, which uh, effects will, will be uh, basically the most likeliest one with this and that recipe and so on. Now you just have to keep in mind, the more ingredients you put into the cauldron, um, the more likely it is to trigger anything. If you throw in like 25 ingredients, 
it's guaranteed that a, an effect is triggered whenever you drink from it. Like throwing in ingredients is actually, it costs witch points. Mm. So you cannot just, okay, I will always throw in 25 ingredients, right? No, you have to um, use witch points for that and you get them for free. And the further you have progress in the game, the more witch points you get. So it makes it easier for long time players to use more ingredients. Yeah, those witch points can also be saved up for after the brewing phase uh, to spend on improving these effects mm. in general, like mm -hmm. permanently. So it's a balance between improving the effects and adding ingredients. Yeah, basically, yes. So you have to strategically spend your witch points. Yeah. Okay. And actually when we, we tested this, we found also that um, we should add something more to make this more rewarding for long time players mm -hmm. and we added a feature where you can actually convert your resources into witch points so in the studying phase where you can level up your effects you can put in all the resources that are sitting on your shelves for way too long time and you can turn them into witch points to level up your effects and that will give players that are with us for a long time very strong effects so it's really it's kind of our thank you for loyalty of the players mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward very much to how, how they perceive it. Right? Me too, I want to see what sort of uh, yeah. effects they will find out. All right, that's it for today. But don't forget to check the new feature. Click on the link on the description below to test it. I see you there. And as always from my side, keep on playing. <laughs>